Hello dear students, it's a computer teacher and today we shall continue with the same chapter that is chapter number 2 which deals with the topic managing files on Windows 7. So my dear students, in our previous class we have learned about different types of files like text file, image file, audio file, video file and program file. So along with this I have told you about the file extension also. So for example suppose if we are dealing with video file what kind of file extension will be used is .mp4. So .mp4 is the file extension that will be used for video file. So in today's class my day students will be dealing with file extensions. What is actually a file extension? Now a file extension is a part of the file name and helps in identifying the type of file so now what what is a file extension is it is a part of file name and what is the work of this file extension is it helps in identifying the type of file so if you look here in this picture so what is written is image.jpg is written so now according to the definition of the file extension what is actually a file extension is is a part of the file name so here in this picture the name of the file is image and helps in identifying the type of file so after image what is there is dot jpg is there so jpg is the file extension for this file name so what is the work of this jpg is it helps in identifying the type of file so jpg is used for the image files or picture files so this jpg here is helping to identify the the type of file that is image or picture file so this is how this file extension helps in identifying the type of file so if you see any sort of thing after the file name written there in the in the files or folder then you can easily tell that that particular portion is the file extension used for the the file name now if video is written instead of image video dot mp4 is written so video will be denoted as file name and mp4 will be denoted as file extension so we can easily identify that particular file is used for storing video videos so this is how file extension helps in identifying the files now you can store related files in a folder to organize them now in our previous class we have learned about different ty types of file like text image audio file video file and program file now what is the use of creating these different types of files there in the computer is you can store related files and folders in an organized manner so in order to keep different information or data in an organized manner we create these different types of files like if we have got many songs so what we can do is we can create a file named audio and inside that we can put all the the songs like for example if we have got more number of videos then we can easily make a video file and we can store all the all the videos there inside that particular file so this is how we can use different sort of file to keep file or folder in an organized manner now this way what happens is if we keep the files and folders in this manner this way your desktop will stay neat and you will be able to find your files easily also now it's very easy to differentiate between a file and folder by looking at their icons either on the desktop or in Windows Explorer also so here now if we if we keep different information or data in an organized manner if we keep 
files and folders in an organized manner. What is the adv advantage of keeping these files and folders in an organized manner is we can we can easily differentiate between the files files and folders we can easily find the things whatever is required and we can keep these files and folders or the desktop need also now it's very easy to differentiate between a file and folder so we can easily differentiate between the file and folder if we keep these files and folders in an organized manner and we can easily differentiate by their icons also so if you look here in this picture there are two different portions on the top what is written is in left side left hand side folder is written and in right hand side file is written so if we keep these files and folders in an organized manner it looks neat also and we can easily differentiate between files and folder by its icon also so if you see there in the left side in the folder side folders icon is different like it has got yellow cover and if you see there in the right side you can see the document type icon which is a file icon so we can easily differentiate between the file and folder if we keep in organized manner so a folder icon looks like a file folder and a file or a document icon looks like a sheet of paper with its top right hand corner turned down so you you can look here in this picture also a folder icon looks like a file folder and a file or a document icon looks like a sheet of paper or a document so you can easily identify these files and folders with the help of their icons also so these are the so these are the basic things that we should know while working there in the computer so another thing that you have to remember is the file extension so we can if we know about the file extension we can easily keep these audio files or video files or any of the data or information in different different files and we can easily identify what kind of files or folders are stored there in the the computer with the help of file extension so here in this table you can see different types of file and different types of file extension has been used here in this file also so the same table is given in page number 25 of your computer textbook also so i request you all to kindly relate this picture with the the picture that is present there in the the computer textbook and kindly go through this this table which is very much important to know about the different types of file and its extension so for today i have explained you all about what is file extension and how this file extension is is helpful in knowing different files in the computer and what is the work of files there in the computer and how to differentiate between file and folder there in the computer so these are the things that we have learned in today's class and in upcoming class we'll be learning about searching for files and folders so how to search files and folders there in the computer so that will be the next topic for upcoming class so till then stay safe stay at home and dedicate your time in studies thank you